welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Kelsey, and today we're, we're going to be doing Crystal Growing Jewelry by Universe. Okay, open. So, when you make the necklaces, there's different types of chains you could use. There's like the silver regular chains, there's um, rainbow um, leather chains that you could use. There's purple, rainbow, and a couple other colors. Fun fresh occasional kits where science meets style, nerdy is cool, learning is fun, and visually is key. You can be fashionable and a super cool science all at the same time. That's what the blue box says. We're opening it. It should be a poster. We have three chains for the big round ones, and then we have little, um, kind of like string um, chains. And then we have these circle things for necklaces that you put the jewels on. You put the jewels right here. Yeah. We have three chains, three per, three, um, kind of like string things for the some of these. We have three of those circle um, jewel things. And we have two star ones. And we have one ring. And then we have some colors for the thing. We have blue, pink, and purple. And then this is craft glue. Aluminum power powder. This is all ju jewelry making stuff, and, this, and we're gonna have so much fun making jewelry and necklaces and rings. So yeah. Now we're gonna fill all the bases up with craft glue and the ring. So we're gonna put the craft glue in. This is the craft glue. Now we're going to be putting 7 teaspoons of the aluminum powder 
in each jar. Now we're gonna let the water and the aluminum powder sit set for 30 minutes until it and until it gets to room temperature. Now we're going to be putting our our bases into the aluminum water for 24 hours. Crystals soak in the in, soak and crystallize in the water for 24 hours. Then we took them out and let them dry for 24 hours. And now we are going to be coloring them and cutting them off of the sticks. This is the ring. It didn't really get any crystals on the ring part, but we could put like some color on the side of it. It didn't really turn out as well as I thought it was going to, but it still looks star one. Um, only right there it doesn't have a, as much crystals, but this one I think turned out the best. So this is one of the circle ones. There's not really crystals on the circle part, but there is crystals on it. The other circle one has crystals on it, but not in a couple places like right here. And right here there's no crystals. And this one turned out really good like the star one. This is the other star one. It only kind of got crystals like at the edge of, or the rail of the star. So yeah, I really like it though. It still is ah. cute. Now we're gonna cut the strings off. Now we're gonna cut the ring. Now we're gonna cut the other star. Oh.
this one's my favorite because it has like the white crystals kind of. And um, I like how it soaked out in some of the color. The ring, it didn't turn out as I expected it because all of the crystals and colors just coming off of it. This one, it's not too bad, I like it. And this is, we made one of them that's not a chain. Um, this one's gonna be a bracelet instead of a necklace. And this one, I tried to make like a outer space kind of, like with a purple and a blue. I tried to add a couple of pink, but the purple just like, just went over, so yeah. I really like the bracelet because um, the colors are cute and most of the color is blue and I like the color blue. And it's super cute and the, ch the chain thing, like a little, it's a rainbow, so yeah. I really like this necklace because of the colors and um, this is what it looks like on me. Um, I like how it's like not really like long. I like how it's short because I don't like long necklaces. Um, this one is super cute, but we have to sometimes wait for it to dry from the colors. And yeah, I really like it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!